hello friends welcome back and this is code Letica. in this video we are going to demonstrate a powerful notebook application using the PHP programming language and also my SQL database now this application is very responsive and can work on all mobile devices it's free and can be used for anything now in order for you to be able to run this project you need to have the ZAMP on your machine that is you have to install ZAMP on your machine so if you are a newbie and you don't have ZAMP all you have to do is you have to go straight to your browser and make sure you download the ZAMP on, and install it on your machine so to do that you go to your browser you open Google then you just type ZAMP download like this then you just hit enter after you select the first link you click on it that is this link so this link will be also given in the description for you you just click on it then you take you to this site now for those of you using windows you have ZAMP for windows then this is the version you have ZAMP for Linux and also ZAMP for OS that is Mac all right so because I'm using Windows I only have to click on one of these three so you can download any of them okay so let's download okay so I'm using the internet download manager that's why it's, this pop-up is displaying so I get an option to choose a location I want to save my ZAMP just click save after I click start download so assuming your case you are not using the internet download manager you get an option to save us so if that option doesn't come your application will automatically be saved in the download folder okay so after that you just start download I already have it on my machine so I'll just cancel it so after the ZAMP is downloaded I go to your browser again then you make sure you install the or download the sublime test editor because that is what I'm using you can use any editor you want either a VS code notepad plus plus any editor you want but in my case I'm using sublime test so you just go to your browser then you type sublime test free download then you click on the link so so the same thing those those of you using Mac OS you just click on the Mac like this then you just choose a, a place to save it same thing those of you using Windows click on the portable version then you download it if you're also using Linux the same thing click on based on your OS you click on it then you download okay I also have the sublime test so I will, I will ignore this download now after downloading your ZAMP you only go to you browse the location where you saved your ZAMP in my case Nightingale here then you see your ZAMP there so you just double click to install your ZAMP I already have it installed on my machine okay so you get a notification saying do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device you only have to say yes okay so it's saying it seems you have an antivirus box so you have to disable your antivirus if you don't want this uh, notification or otherwise you can click continue with the installation but I've already I already have the ZAMP installed so I only click no to cancel after that to you go to where you saved your uh, sublime test to, to that is the location you saved your sublime test okay in my case I have sublime test here now you get it in a zip file because it's a portable okay so all that you have to do is you just right click on it then you click extract files you can use extract files or extract here or even extract to sublime test so i've already extracted my sublime test and this is the sublime test you just double click to open 
and when you open it you are going to see these things here all right all you have to do is you just have to double click on sublime test exe this extension you double click on it and you are going to get this interface that is sublime test will open for you after double clicking it so basically that is it we are done installing the ZAMP and also you have your sublime test on your machine okay so after that you also have to go to a description for the link to the source code so you only have to copy the link or you click on the link and open for you so yeah copy the link go to my browser just paste the link there then click the hit the enter like this so you see the project notes taken that is a notebook so i'll click on this icon to download it so same thing i'm using idm internet download manager so you ask me to so i'll browse the location i want to save this file okay so i'll choose um download okay then save after i click start download then i'll click open folder okay so this is my notes part i'll right click then open okay so i'm going to extract this uh, project to the location of my local host now now that you have zamp installed on your machine if you go to c your c drive you see or if you see zamp here a zamp folder here can double click on it to open and you're going to see all these folders inside your zamp now this is the part we keep our project that is the ht docs so you can double click on it and you see everything here so this is where you are going to extract your notes uh, notebook application too okay so you browse the location then now here you can just select the notes taken from your winra then you just drag it into your ht docs and you see your project there or better still you can just extract it to desktop you can just extract you select the extract files here extract to then you browse the location you can select desktop then you extract to after you close it after extracting to desktop you only have to cut it or copy you cut then you go to your C ZAMP AT docs then you just right click and paste it here all right so that is it basically so we have our notes taken here you can double click to open you see our database here you can click on it to open the database so this is the name of the database so what you have to do is first of all let's open our project with a sublime test okay okay so all that i have to do is i'll just drag this project as a note taken i'll drag it then i'll select my sublime test like this then just put it here you see your project will open okay now let's go to the includes so these are the two files inside the include folder we have the config.php you can open it so this place contains the connection string to your database we are using a local host so this is the local host and this is the name of the user that is root you don't have any password so we have empty here then the DB name is notes taken all right so this is the name of the database so it means that we have to uh, create a database now local host so to do that you go to your search then you search for your local host that is yes, your ZAMP the one you installed so you type ZAMP it will come like this then you click open then you open you get something like this Okay, you have Apache MySQL. You are going to set, start these two things. That is, so you click on it to start the Apache. After I click on it to start MySQL, you wait for some time. After you can minimize it, then you go back to your browser. You can close this one. So here, we can type localhost like this. Then just 
enter so when you type the holoka host it will automatically add slash forward slash dashboard forward slash so here you come to php my admin then you double you click on it so you are going to see something like this all right so you click on new then we add our database here okay so let me minimize it you have to copy the name of the database here that is not taking you copy it you go to your browser then you paste it here after pasting it you click on create okay so now we already have our database inside our project that is db so you are going to import it into our application or into our database so here you select import then we click choose file so we browse to the location of our project don't forget to do that you go to drive c then you look for zamp then ht docs then after that you look for notes taking db folder then now you select this one after selecting it you click open okay now you look for go then you click on go you automatically load our database okay so you say import has been successfully finished 20 queries executed so here's our notes taken we have register I already have two records you also have notes and here is it okay so now that we are done let's go to our uh, sublime test again so we also have a section and this section is going to check the login section that is check whether the section variable as member is present or not okay we also have the um where is the login we have the index the index which contains our login form all right we also have logout we have the sign up and now the notebook okay so this is it we also have the edit notes okay so now that we have imported our database successfully you go to you open another tab like this then here we type localhost again then forward slash now we go back to our pro f uh, project directory that is this is notes underscore taken so you make sure you select the name you can copy it then just come here you paste it here like this for a slash simple as that all right after that hit enter like this then you are going to get the login form so we have notebook so login form so here you enter your login here then the password but if you are new to this system you only have to create account so don't do not have an account you click here to create an account so here you can enter your name so let's say project gaffa like this then the mail you can say bray at gmail.com then the password you choose a password like this after i click sign up set record successfully added okay then i can come here to login so you select the email then the password then you click login like this and you are going to get something like this you don't have any notes here so here you can type any note so let's say uh false then here let's search something uh, let's say false what is false in science okay So you can copy this you can copy this and go to our here so no taking can paste it here after I only have to click add event then you say notes added successfully 
so here you see our notes here false then here then you have the complete version of it here say a force is a push or a pull upon this is it okay so here you can click on show if you want to show your notes you click on show so that i can read from here all right so here if let's say you want to edit something you can just edit it so after that you only have to click update then say notes updated successfully so that it didn't take you back so basically that is it you can see your record you can log out that's basically a simple notes taking application you can just minimize this or collapse that side can it take you back we have you can also see our playlist that is contact us let's check the responsiveness you click on it inspect then you can see our application very responsive that is it click here it will come like this so basically click on settings to get something like this so that is it basically for this application it's very simple and basic for beginners to learn something from it please every link will be given in the description if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification for future projects and also don't forget to comment in the description in the comment box for any project you want to see on this channel thank you very much for your time and this is code Litica. see you in the next video